Now recently, Fortnite has gotten an update that added quite a lot of stuff to the game, and people are complaining about it online. Now listen, if you've watched my channel for even a couple weeks at this point, you probably know that I do tend to glaze epic games at times. But I can be critical, I've made some videos where I'm critiquing Fortnite, and if there's a bad update, I'm willing to call it out. But for now, I'm gonna go back to glazing epic games and say why this update is actually good and how you guys guys are expecting way too much from Fortnite updates. I just want to set your expectations for what a Fortnite update should be. With that being said, let's get right into it. I'm sexually attracted to Fortnite skins. Now that I have your attention, can you be sure to absolutely smash that subscribe button and use code LILSMURF on your next Fortnite item shop purchase? Also, new sub goal, if we hit 10k subs by the end of the year, I will do an elbow reveal. Okay, let's get back to the video. Now, let's set our expectations for what a Fortnite update should be. We're talking a first update of the season. You shouldn't really expect anything too crazy. Recently, first updates for seasons have been sort of rounding up content that was going to be at the launch of the season, but they didn't want to give us too much, and also they wanted to keep us hooked on the game a little more, so they just threw in a little update. It's usually small stuff like bonus rewards in the battle pass and maybe one or two items in battle royale. Now let's fast forward to this update and it's actually a really good first update. We got the quest rewards, the bonus styles, the secret skin, which by the way, normally secret skins are saved for like the third update of the season. You should be grateful that it's coming this early. We also got some in-game content with Shuri's Claws, Gwenpool's SMGs, and the Doctor Doom Island. Now listen, time to stop glazing them for a second. Whoever thought it would be a good idea to only have this spawn in 5% of the time is an absolute moron. Literally no one is going to be able to get this mythic. I've gotten it once. Once! And I've only seen this island once. Epic, listen, just take it out of Battle Royale and make an LTM for it. It's not that hard. Okay, back to glazing. Now, a lot of people are kind of expecting a lot from this update, which you really shouldn't for a first update. Most updates that we get as the first update to Fortnite are usually just in-game items and rounding out the battle pass content like super styles and quest rewards. I feel like you're just kind of expecting a bit too much, especially considering how much the epic devs work. I also wouldn't say that it's necessarily a lack of content, it's the fact that you're playing the game way too much. The second an update comes out, you play for like 7 hours straight. Obviously, you're going to get bored, you're playing this game way too much. After playing it for a long time, all the content is just going to blend in and it's not really going to be that different. Also, just be thankful that the game is getting updated as often as it is. Like, really think about this. Every two weeks, you get some new items that can completely change the way that you play the game, like we did with the Doctor Doom Mythic. Granted, no one is ever going to be able to use it, but still, it's cool, and it changes up the gameplay. Same with Shuri's Claws, and Gwenpool's SMGs, they're not that different, but still, there's something new, and you're also getting a ton of cosmetic content with the quest rewards, bonus styles, and now even the secret skin. Compare this to a game like Minecraft that only gets updated once a year, or even a game like Team Fortress 2, which hasn't gotten a major gameplay update in almost 7 years. It's crazy that Fortnite has lasted as long as it has, so be thankful that they're still updating the game, considering this game is almost 7 years old now. I'm also tired of people saying that there's been a lack of content in Chapter 5, when in reality that's been the complete opposite. I'd argue that we have more content than we've gotten in Chapter 3 and 4 combined. We've gotten stuff like mini passes, which adds stuff from your favorite franchises into the game. We got stuff like whole new LTMs, which we haven't gotten an LTM since Chapter 2, and we're also getting whole new modes. Really think about that. We have gotten five new modes. 
being Festival Main Stage and Battle Stage, LEGO Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Reload. All this stuff has come out in less than a year. That's crazy when you really think about it. There's so many options for you to play in Fortnite, it's honestly astonishing. The whole lack of content argument has simply not been true. It might not be the content that you like in particular, but still, you can't deny the fact that we've gotten a lot of content. Oh wait, but it's the metaverse, so it doesn't count. Can I remind you that Reload is a part of the metaverse? Whether you like it or not, you have to admit that this is a part of the metaverse. Donald Mustard coming back is not going to save your precious game from going back to OG and being all fine and dandy like you assume it's going to be. Now, did Donald Mustard have a clearer vision than Tim Sweeney? I'll admit, yeah, but I'm not the kind of person who's gonna go out of their way to hate on Tim Sweeney and send him death threats on Twitter just because I I don't like the content that's been added to the game. Also, if you don't like the content that's been added to the game and you don't like playing Fortnite anymore, STOP PLAYING THE GAME! Just hop off for like two days. Two days, that's all I'm asking. Don't hop on the game for seven hours and then go online and complain about how much you hate it. Go play Call of Duty. Go play Minecraft. Go play Team Fortress 2. Go play Concord. Oh, wait. Hell, you don't even have to play video games. You can buy a Lego set and do that. You can figure out you have a new hobby like creating videos on the internet. Or you could do my personal suggestion, step outside and breathe the fresh air. Oh, the fresh air. <sighs> ah. Stepping outside is always an option. Now that we realize that we are expecting way too much from Fortnite updates, let's keep our expectations low and figure out what we should expect from Fortnite updates. The first update of the season is normally just super simple. One to two items added in game, maybe some sort of new mechanic like, I don't know, the Doctor Doom Island, something small and simple to shake up the gameplay a little bit, but it's mainly there to round out the Battle Pass content. The second update will mainly be the thing that adds a lot of new content to the game mainly the secret skin however this was added the last update but that's not going to count because normally it's added in the second update and that's when we get a bunch of new quests a ton of new weapons in the loot pool and you can also expect to see some teasers for the next update which is the mini pass update when they add a popular franchise normally in the form of a mini pass and they will add three to four in game items depending on what the franchise is this could be the last update of the season but also we could have one more update that will add some more items in-game teasers for next season and possibly files for a full live event or more realistically a mini live event now you have the fortnite update cycle but yeah that's all i really wanted to talk about in this video i just saw some complaining online about the update that didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me so i just wanted to talk about it next video however i will not be glazing fortnite matter of fact i will be critiquing it in a very negative way Y'all are about to see my dark side. You're gonna see the alpha awaken inside of me. Before we go, be sure to hit that subscribe button and use code Lil Smurf in the Fortnite item shop. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.